Welcome everyone, friends and foes of all species. I'm Daisy Haina. Welcome back with another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Now, me and my friend Joanna, we have gone through and we have picked who we think is going to survive. Because last time, six people survived, so we're just gonna guess and say, you know, six people survived this time. And the list we came up with was, uh... So it was Hajime, Big Red, uh, Sonya, Gundam, Peko, and uh, Sakuhina. We think those are the six that are going to survive. So we'll have to see. I wanted to tell y'all this before we get the game started. Like, murder starts happening so we can see uh, if me and her were right or how right or how wrong were we. So... Well, at least the Ding Dong Bing Bong is nicer. More pleasant now. Eh? That bell just now, could it be? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Monokuma always with the alcohol, my man! Hello, everyone! The fun time oh God. you've all been waiting for is about to begin! I wonder what festivities await you! Oops! Don't want to ruin the surprise. Is it a blood it was orgy? A little, meh, at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park. I think the fuck not. Oh, it's the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this, and the goosebumps sprung all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it! What na- What is it now? Jabberwock Park. Oh, what the fuck is that? Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. What? Once again, you are late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, it. Anyway, it seems. It seems like everyone is here. How annoying! Ugh. What is it this time? So freaking annoying! Then you shouldn't have come. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. Huh, since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the first to test that out. Hey, you may talk like you're tough, wise guy, but wouldn't be here unless you were scared, too. Damn. Huh? What? Yeah. I guess even a big Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? Like you? What the fuck did you say? Wait. Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? I don't need friends. They disappoint me. I'm not your friend, dumbass. When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Eh? Huh, let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. You. You? What did you say? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said I can do it. Do it. What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? I mean, technically he's the leader of a gang, so why are you surprised? Still love the dramatic music, though. Hey, Fuyuhiko, why don't you just calm down for a bit? Bastard. Don't talk to me like we're friends or something! Alright, then let me talk to you like this. Bitch-ass motherfucker.
Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed, that's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. Yeah, the current rules make more sense than the play nice and get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You... Don't treat me like a kid, bitch! Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! There's no way I'm dealing with this cum lamps crap! If any of you guys want to die, step forward and I'll fucking kill you right now. Starting to get pumped up. Oh, she about to wear his ass out! Sounds fun. Give me your best shot. What's gonna happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. Enough! Huh? huh? I see. For you, Hiko, I understand what you're saying. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There, it, there was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Don't treat me Are you treat me like a kid too? Let me say this. But what would recklessly killing accomplish if you failed to get away with it? You know you'll be executed. Or perhaps is that what you really want? If so, hmm. it would only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what the child would do. What did you say? Listen. Listen, so long as we are here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, for you, Hiko. I will not let you die. What the hell? Everything you're saying, it's, it's just empty promises. Something? Okay, here's... It's true, my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name is Byakuya Togami. But I am Byakuya Togami, and I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Mm hmm, I agree. <laughs> I don't care what you say, I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will, however, remember what I said earlier. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I have appointed myself. <laughs> well, let's shut him the fuck up. It it seems like Biakuya resolved it for now. But even if he is the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fuyuhiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Oh, hey, he's looking dapper. What? This is it looked like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey, hey. Why are you dressed like that? Hey. Oh, didn't I mention it in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Okay, th this is concerning. Oh, don't tell me you're going to. Correct. That's right! Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-minute comedy routine! Uh, uh, why does it... Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But you can't do a two-minute comedy routine all by yourself. She's in a, at least she's not in a diaper. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, that figures. Thank you for waiting. Now then, without further ado, I am pleased to present my Akuma Side Splitting Live Two Man Comedy Show. Hey. Huh? I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? I'm speechless. Oh god. Hello! I'm Monokuma! Um, I'm Monami! And together we are the Monokumas! Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind reading abilities! Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm. 
Your favorite food is... You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Kid. That's right. Dabbers. What? <laughs> But yeah, we don't remember how we got into the room. Well, that's because Monami stole your memories. W what are you saying all of a sudden? This is the worst comedy show I've ever been to. <laughs> and I've wait, been to my own. There's more. She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy! What a shocker! Oh, uh... <sighs> I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. <sighs> Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliched twist like that. Really? Dumb bitch ass motherfucker. Please stop! Okay, so he's telling the truth. <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all. You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. <laughs> Oh damn! Punch that bitch in the mouth! Ray Rice the shit out of this bitch! His backhand is far too powerful! Huh? That's what what did he mean? I will admit that there were some parts that I did find quite funny. Come on. Hey, what were you talking? What were you saying just now? Huh? huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Are school memories completely? What is he saying? <laughs> There's no way. Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. Oh, thanks to Mommy stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Oh, no. Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened 
to your friends and family. They probably weren't sick about you. Maybe. Our school memories were stolen. That's ridiculous. That's right. There's no way I had memory loss. You can't. Don't, don't listen to what he says. The <laughs> <laughs> preached. <laughs> Die. I refuse to believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories was a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong. Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope Peak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. What? How did you know that? Actually, <laughs> Why, that's the cutoff point! Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed! What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think, I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. <laughs> so a long time has passed since then? Impossible. impossible! There's no way! Lie. On the contrary! Why is it impossible? That's Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? No. But don't worry! I'm a generous guy! I can give you back your memories! Huh? huh? Hey, um... However, there's a catch! Don't, don't tell me the catches. <laughs> Figured it out yet? That's right. That's right. You guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. Whoa, huh? Hey, you guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing a penny for your thumb. Hey, uh, stop running at your mouth. Bye bye! Why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motor from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse. To commit your future crimes! Quiet. Stop this at once! Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit a murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory loss crap in the first place. Hmm. But more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? You guys don't know each other, which means none of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Huh? Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total if a total of 15 students from House Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island. That's right, there's probably a traitor. I don't even know about hiding among the group. So, even he doesn't know if there's a traitor here. Just kidding! What are you saying? All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense! It's obvious nonsense. Blame. For real, you guys, how can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other! You don't even know each other's true natures! That's why, if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know! With those words, everyone fell silent. Uh -huh. Oh! <coughs> Oops. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that ghost star awful? Pretending to be your ally! Tricking you guys! It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Come on, make the preemptive strike! It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all! 
If you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. Even after Monkuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomena, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this just despair. It consumed every one of us. <laughs> Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? <laughs> it's not me, by the way, I know it! I may look suspicious, but it's not me! Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself! You're only making things worse for you by staying silent! That's enough. Just stop it. There is no way there's a traitor. There is no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. I won't that's right. I, that, that's right. I don't believe it. Because there is no way I can believe it. There is no reason in the first place to believe it. Monami, you would know. Huh? Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss? About the traitor? Um, um, I mean, everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past. Keep your eyes fixed on the future. <laughs> Let's do our very best. Huh? Okay, so from that, what I'm guessing is everything Monokuma just said was right. Huh? She ran away. <laughs> How ridiculous. Remember I lost a traitor, it's completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from reality, I know. Stolen memories? All of my school memories? Everything? A traitor hidden among us? But what really stuck with me was when Monokuma said, You guys don't know anything about each other. Ding dong, bing bong! Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Hey. Hey. What should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to make keep our minds calm. Oh. I guess you're right. This is your leader's order. <laughs> Just so you all know, do not think about any unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Manakuma's morning announcement. Um, how troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Huh? I, I feel pretty stiff right now too, double entendre. Uh. That, that's not how the saying goes, but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner now. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that. But later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. These stupid thoughts out of- I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from the otherworldly reality. Monokuma Theater! They say impossible is a word that's only found in a fool's dictionary!
dictionary. Obviously, it's a part word to you. Obviously, it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible possible, it's all over if you say that. You can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. All right. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but... It was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. Well, that seems like a good place to stop for today. So we got that half funny, half not show where we found out Monomi kind of erased all of our memories and that there's a traitor among us, but I feel, I feel like there's more to the traitor thing. I think because Monokuma says, even I don't know who it is. I think someone, and this is just me, I think that Monami's controller, like Monami is a good person, controlled by a good person, and one of the people working for that, the controller of her is working in Inside the uh, group so the traitor is really a good person but Monokuma wants to kill them because they're a good person that's what I'm thinking right now all right anyway if you like what you see please be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can see my content in the future also while you're here make oh wait what was my outro again so if you like what you see, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can see my content in the future. Also, while you're here, if you have a game suggestion or you just want to say hi, leave it down in the comment section below. I'm DC Hyena, I'll catch y'all in the next video.